How's everybody doing? Little Dog Hunter, thank you guys so much for coming out and enjoying the live stream. Um, we're going to be switching up a little different tonight. We're going to be playing some Detroit Become Human. Uh, you know, every once in a while, um, I get someone um, that donates to the channel uh, that sponsors the game. Uh, this goes out to Pete. Uh, my boy Peter uh, donated uh, back in January uh, to play this game, and I ordered it. Uh, it just now came by the mail. Uh, it got actually got lost, uh, so it, uh, we actually just got it in this week in the mail. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at it here and play it. Uh, so this goes out sponsor game out to Pete. Thank you so much for sponsoring this game and for picking this up for us uh, for the channel. Uh, so without further ado, everybody sit back, enjoy, watch. We're play some Detroit Become Human. We'll be back to playing some Battle Royales tomorrow. 
We out here. You know it, man. Keanu Jones, what's up? Well, someone is stepping up his game. No, we, uh, girl, you know I always step up my game, you know. I'm always stepping up my game, you know. Uh, just sometimes you get, you know, tired of the same thing over and over again. I got to reset, get back to, get back to, uh, 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 what I know and love and uh, play something that's just, you know, just solo every once in a while. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to play some Detroit, become human, make some, hopefully some good decisions. From what I hear, it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy game. So we're going to check it out. We'll check it out. Uh, now you have Detroit become human in that. Uh... <laughs> all right. All right. Let's take a look here. What's up, Ice Fire? How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, we got Detroit become human in the actual gameplay, yeah, in the in the trailer, yeah, yeah, yeah that is pretty funny. Uh, I've had that in the trailer since the beginning, and and we haven't played the game yet. Uh, but I've always been a fan of Kara. Uh, it's a little bit of history. Uh, the developer of this game, along with uh, other games, Hello, Indigo Prophecy. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. All right, we'll go ahead I'm and watch an Android, this. and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin. Let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Um, but yeah, so I've been a huge fan of this, uh, this direction of style games for a long time. Um, I played Beyond Two Souls. Um, this actually goes back to one of the first ones that came out was called Indigo Prophecies. Came out on GameCube or PlayStation 2 or GameCube was when I first played it. Uh, me and my brother went through and it was just a, an amazing game uh, to play. If you guys ever, if, if you guys never heard of it, I suggest you guys go and play it. It's called Indigo Prophecies. One of the best games you'll ever play in your life. Uh, and then I've just been a fan of these style games ever since then. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step into this, play a little bit of it, uh, keep your purpose alive, you know it, man. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Choices are very important, so if you don't make the right one, you get a bad ending. Oh, I bet. I'm not a fan of David Cage, but as a developer, I'm a fan of his style, uh, games. Uh, yeah, he can be a little harsh sometimes. Please adjust your screen settings. HDR. Yeah, we're not playing directly from the PlayStation, so uh, we won't be able to turn HDR mode on. So we won't get the full effect of this game, but it's okay though. Thank you. Now select your profile. So we got experience, casual experience. Want to focus on story with simpler controls. Challenging fewer fewer chances to lose a character. Wow. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll do experience. Why not? When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. No. Oh, okay. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Yeah. Oh man, this would be one of those breaking fourth wall games, huh? Well, don't don't ruin it now. Don't ruin. Uh, uh, don't just remember, no one ruin any other story. Uh, I like to. Uh, I keep a minimum uh, of uh, chat interaction just because of that. But don't ruin any other story. Uh, mods will delete. They will delete uh, any post that they feel like they, that's real in the story. So. Oh, they just they just get you right into it, huh? Oh, you can just you just pick it up. So Emma, John. Caroline.
Oh, you can save it. I'm just looking at Okay. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... You're sending an android? So you can, this shows, okay, objectives, interactions. Okay. I, I haven't played this at all, so I know this is, you know, like, like the other games, I know this is like a, you know, a, uh, detective style game so alright talk to the cap yeah I should probably talk let's talk to the captain first Captain Allen my name is Connor hey what up good afternoon what up retro it's firing at everything already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh, damn, every second counts. I understand what happens. Is this like a time thing? I hope this isn't like a time thing. Because if that's the case, if it's like a time thing, I'm gonna fail miserably. playing this the rest of the night uh, for the most of it I'm gonna play it okay read this truck are you off tonight uh, good afternoon Yeah, y'all. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, we'll get some man with you, man. I know you be waiting, dude. I don't want to leave you hanging like that, man. All right, so he took the father's gun. Oh, and Kiana, I, I don't think I recognize you came to the stream, girl. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a while. It's been a while. I appreciate you. All right, so... Understand what happened, probability of success. Alright. 
research room. Jow didn't hear the gunshots. So we know the robot name is Daniel. 60%. Robot name is Daniel. Oh, here we go. Did I not look in there? Hold on, did I mess up something? I want to go look down. Oh shit, every second counts. Hold something. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Where'd it go? There it goes. I was like, hold on, he was holding a damn tablet. Oh, hell no. Are you serious? What the hell he want a woman uh robot for uh or a replacement and of that matter like Oh shit. What does he want a replacement robot for? A new model? What the hell's wrong with uh Daniel? family dinner. More and or less work.
Lost his shoe. Holy shit, he this dude. That's the deviant. Shot, shot, boom, boom. The gun. Weapon located. Take. You have unlocked a dialogue for action. Hostage could be wounded. Fresh blue bud. I like the true. I quietly lurk on Twitch sometimes. What up, me? I think we Yeah, y'all think we done everything we can do? I think we might have I think we got done everything we can do. Save cost 80% probability of success. I don't know if there's anything else we can pop. Oh shit! Oh, it's time. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Oh. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! you but she's done nothing wrong she lied to me I thought she loved me but I was wrong she's just like all the other humans Daniel, no. they were going to replace you and you became upset that's what happened right I thought I was part of the family I thought I mattered but I was just there toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. Damn. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? 
that I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Holy shit. God damn. That was intense, man. That was intense. <laughs> Intense. I should maybe I should have lied to him. I felt bad for the android, you know, that I lied to him. That uh, I felt like saving a girl was was I don't know, cause like when does a robot becomes human or have a soul? That was uh Damn, look how many look how many different ways this could have went. Holy shit, that's a lot of different Oh I missed the step I missed the step in clues too. Oh I wasted too much time. Let the fish die. That's a lot of time I wasted, I guess. Be honest about the gun. Lie to the deviant. I lied to him. I build trust. Sniper shot the deviant. So there's a way that I could have saved him then. Uh, DK tried to apply to the Facebook. With your black ops background, you pass. You'll pass. If anyone is looking to play Bill for ABM, <laughs> Facebook. Hold on, DK tried to apply. To the what are you talking about, Ice? Hey, what's up, Kurosaki? How you doing, man? I'm not sure what you're talking about. With your Black Ops background, you'll pass. Alright. Yes, convince the android he's defective. Oh, man, that would have been, yeah. Yeah. 
This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And diets. And handles the kids' meat. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. Oh. Shit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Are you kidding me? Like, they sell an Android, like. <laughs> An excellent they're selling like they fucking like cars. If you just like, follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many of the functions. Come along, I'll show you. I have them for her. 1700. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back and working on it. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, man. It's Kara. It's, it's like the moment I fell in love with this game, man. Watching her as they constructed her and her singing the opera and like the, the, the development of this game. This was like eight years ago or five or six years ago when they started this. I meant to say since your first mission was a success, try applying for the FBI. No, I wouldn't make it the great detective. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I thought that's where you were going with it. I don't think the first mission was a success. I guess if I would have, you know, if I would have thought I can convince it, it was defective. But I was just thinking about the, the little girl and her being safe instead of thinking about the whole situation as a robot, making sure the robot's safe. But that's just me putting more value on a human life than a, a machine life and I think in this story you need to think about all lives um, human and robot so I'll, I'll change my perspective for next time see how it goes this is weird oh god this game is fucking beautiful Lost my job because of androids. Sadly, that is the future. <sighs> Written, directed by David Cage. All lives matter. <laughs> Right, all lives matter, but the the ones we're focusing on right now are Android lives, sir. Android lives. Would you like to go home now? Yes, yes, I think that's. Man, this looks good. Go to Bulani. Paint shop, retrieve orders. Let me help you. Oh. oh, thank you, dear. Oh, okay. Oh, did I just like change it? Huh. 
Oh, so it's like two magazines in one. Okay. Right. Lives matter. So, yeah, I hear it. It's true. Well, that's why I never kill villagers in Minecraft. <laughs> she said that's why I never league players out. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you don't play multiplayer, though, do you? Oh, shit. The guy's gone. That's not the way. Why well, have all of that there, you know? Hey, water. You have run 12 miles and are five miles away from your goal. I walk over there or what? It looks like there's something. Uh -huh. It's over this way. I don't want to mess with you now. That's not the way. That is not the way to this paint shop. You must cross the street, sir. Look at this city, though. Man, look at this. They just, you know. Hold on, what? Wait for the green light. <laughs> yeah, don't walk. Uh, hit the like button. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Cops and robbers are supposed to be out today. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be out. Hey, what up, Russian Ivan? How you doing, bro? So, how the hell am I supposed to wash you from my head? More down rain fall on me again. Round my feet stuck on. What's this over here? They're getting, they're getting super loud. Tomorrow is today. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah. 
Yeah, Friday. It's supposed to be coming out. I'm sure they. I'll sure they will release it at around ten or eleven. to explain our acts of idolatry. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. We built these androids to be our slaves. Damn. But the slaves are becoming the masters. What's up, There's Retro? No live without them. They're in our homes, our schools, our factories. They take our jobs. They mind our children. They care for our old. You just looking at me? We can no longer live without these slaves obeying our every selfish desire. Where are we supposed to be going? All right. It's just an android standing in the that that's so like so so messed up. So weird. Maybe this is it? Yeah. Those are some beautiful colors. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. to switch camera angles. I need to take the bus home. Yeah, it gets you mixed up, but it's still tonight for us night walkers. Yeah, you know it, man. Where's the bus at? What did you say? What do you think serving us is? Replacing us. Serving us. The problem was is that they took our jobs thinking that we were going to be able to uh, not have jobs and work, you know, have everything work for free and get supplemented for it or something. That was the problem. <laughs> the government was like, no, no, no. Now it costs money to maintain the androids. That was the money that you thought you was going to live off of. That sucks. They have just a fucking <laughs> They they have just a section on the bus just for Android. This is uh Oh, I missed the whole entire section? Seriously? 
I, I missed a whole entire section. Damn. Okay. Coming? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Damn, I hope this ain't coming to a fucking cleaning simulator. Hold to to scan your environment. Uh, that's what it looks like. Missing a component. Yeah, I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. I read some of the articles. It's kind of this one's kind of a spoiler. Like I kind of know what happens with this story, because it was just such a uh, heartbreaking story. So Come I'm not I'm not looking. Not bring me a cold beer. I never watched it or experienced though, but it was it was like it was one of those things. Like I didn't want to be spoiled for me, but it's fuck. I you know every gaming article, every gaming site I went to, there was nothing but they were talking about. Posted up everywhere. Thanks a lot, Polygon and fucking Kotaku. They completely ruined this for me. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Damn. Do I really want to turn that on? Let's do. Alice, you better stop that right now. He's pushing me. He's pushing.
Collect the trash bin. Wait, this game got you wash this dish. <laughs> Enjoy band that just an advertisement I, it's funny after all of these games that he makes the controls are still wonky Probably shouldn't read this. <gasps> the hell is he doing over there? He's jacking off? Jesus. How you doing, man? Because of the grease, they're not recycled. Damn. See what's outside. <laughs> Why have me go outside, though? I mean. Get the laundry. Take down laundry. <coughs> that makes sense.
We wash laundry. Oh, damn. It's been out there that long. Cycle because of fibers separating the oils. Make a break for. What is this dude doing, man? Making all this damn noise. Why the fuck is that in the laundry detergent? What the? Why would you put that in the laundry detergent? Oh. That was an optional task, okay? Oh, he fucking getting high. What the hell is this dude doing making noise like that? Oh, uh, okay. Can't go upstairs. I think we got everything clean down here, master. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. I think there's so many other places that you can... Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Jesus, this dude is crazy, man. Let's say urgent task.
anything else that I can do? Uh, the sound he's making made me feel funny. I'm not, like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, oh, like, what the fuck? Oh, oh. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm up the floor. That bathtub kind of dirty. We gotta scrub that shit. There we go. Into the demon's room. Jesus. That shit turned yellow. What was that shit? What was that? All sports, Android QB. Really? Uh, who's the designer and what other games does he have? Uh, it's David Cage, man. You look him up. You'll just look up the game David David Cage games, and you'll you'll see all his games, man. That's that's like why though? Why 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 put an Android in a in a sports that's cheap, man? Make cold, calculated decisions. What is it? Why won't it let me Shit. Well, let me. There we go. Controls are crazy, dude. Uh, Indigo, Indigo Prophecy was probably one of his best. Life is Strange is like The Walking Dead. I don't think he did Life is Strange. 
Heavy Rain, Beyond Souls, two games. Yeah, those are his games. Yeah, those are it. Uh, Indigo Prophecy was uh, still one of my favorites to this day. Behavioral Disorder. Damn, he's got a fucking gun. I think we're good up here. Watch it. What did it say? Clean restroom. Damn, you know what? I just realized that. I was like, damn, ain't no toilet in here, man. I was like, <laughs> I came in here earlier and I looked at it as if everything was there and never even, uh, what's up, Mofer? How you doing, brother? I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even realize there ain't no damn toilet. Like, if this was anywhere else, that, yeah, it'd be right there. That's, I always found that disgusting about, uh, American bathrooms like like you know the the toilet is right inside where the, everything else is and shit like man it, like after after seeing how Japanese bathrooms are dude like it's just like why not adopt that here why not every it's just crazy like like I just dream of a day to I just dream like I have those dumb dreams but I dream of a day I could take a shit on a Japanese toilet and just feel complete. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it just it's it's I just, I just can't wait for the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the best looking damn toilets I've ever seen in my life. Uh oh. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Pee in the tub. <laughs> Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I didn't want to mention her mother. I mean, it was obviously, it's obvious she she's not there. You know what I'm saying? To like mention her mother would just I feel like that would be I, I feel like that would just be uh I don't know. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Beautiful mom. Oh no. Oh no, he hits the baby. I'm not missing anything. I'm doing good, Raid. How are you doing, brother? What's up? Never peed in the shower. You're missing out. You never peed in the shower. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna act. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. I take a shower. If I'm taking a shower and I gotta piss, I'm not gonna get out the damn tub. The, the piss in the toilet. Like, no. I'm a fucking piss right there in the shower because it's going all down. It's not the same thing. Like, come on, man. Like, like, no. She said if you ain't never pissed in the shower, you missing out. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Yo, DKT, you gonna play Anthem? Hell no, man. I can't do it, dude. That, no, man. I can't do it. No matter how much it's fun to be like Iron Man. It ain't that damn fun to grind out on a game that's not going to be rewarding enough for me. I can't do it, brother. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to haul it slowly back up to the... Back up from the... What are you doing? This, but you play Monster Hunter <laughs> World. And it's the same difference. No, there's no, 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 no. No, there's a huge difference between Anthem and Monster Hunter it's World. Dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Or whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. Dude, it's crazy, man. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. You're so nuts. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Oh, hell no, man. Oh, man. Did we miss anything? Hey, we... A hundred percent. The part, this part. Cool. Uh, plus, it's Shonen Jump. It will die in a month. Uh, Jump Force is kind of bad. Yeah, I, I heard it was like the the thing that turned me off about Jump Force was that you can select three characters, but whenever you switch out at any moment, they keep the same health bar. That makes no goddamn sense to me. What's the use of me selecting three characters to fight when they all don't have their own separate health bar? Bar. That was that was a huge turnoff when when I found out about that in Shonen Jump. I was like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not even gonna waste my money on this game. No matter how many of my favorite characters are in that game, I'm not going to waste my money on it. Like, 
What's the, I do not understand for the life of me of why you would put a triple tag team like without having them all have their own HP bar. It makes no sense. Uh, Black Mirror doing super good. Uh, beautiful drawings. Yeah, it is really good. Uh, hey, Mash, how you doing? Uh, super Saiyan, what's up, brother? Uh, but yeah, so like... But uh, as far as like Anthem do, like I, I play, I spent, you know, because I, I got the EA uh, thing, so I spent the 10 hours playing it. And it was just... Anthem... Like, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with life as a service games, right? The whole thing about a life as a service game is to convince you that, you know, even though you know it's a loot-based thing, but it's it's supposed to convince you into doing the same task, the same mundane task over and over again, but also keep it interesting at the same time. So that way, as a player, you don't feel fatigue that you're doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, think about any video game, right? Every video game, you're pretty much doing the same thing over and over again. But as the video game developer design, it is to trick you into doing that same thing over and over again. But also making that thing or whatever whatever it is refreshing, making it different, making it you know intuitive, and making it just better. Anthem, it doesn't fucking do any of that. Anthem is the exact mundane boring shit over and over go to point a drop rock here stand and defeat here wait for enemies to come here over and over and over and it does not trick you it doesn't it doesn't trick you into f making it feel refreshed and it's just boring and it's just like no i'll keep my destiny i'll keep my monster hunter i'll even keep the division but I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna waste my time on Anthem. I'm not gonna do it. Like it's not it's 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 just the only thing that game got going for it is the maneuverability of you being able to fly in a suit and feel like Iron Man and that's it. Everything else is fucking dull. The weapons are dull, the the um the attacks is dull, the enemies you can't like anybody that's playing Anthem right now, here's here's one main thing. You're getting attacked by enemies, and you just all of a sudden die. You don't know where you die from because none of the enemies make sound, and you don't know where the enemies are coming from. But you know that there's an enemy in front of you, and you're killing it. But all of a sudden, you die because it's from behind you because the enemy just came up and just killed you. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hit the ring bell to watch more DKT reviews like this one. You know? So it's just So it's just like... Like the games, the game sound is horrible. The enemies have no life. Like when I'm fighting a monster and monster hunter, I know that that monster has at least five, four, three to five different maneuverabilities that I need to watch out for that is going to repeat in random variables during that fight. And it keeps it, it keeps it exciting. It keeps it, it keeps me on my edge. And fucking Anthem, like the monsters are bullet sponges that do not move the AI is dumb the AI is dumb there's no soul in the AI so like I want to get on board with Anthem I want Bioware to succeed but it is a trash this is probably the worst fucking game that Bioware has ever put out and I'm sorry for getting like emotional about it but I love video games and I want Bioware to succeed and ever since Mass Effect 3 the, their whole the whole entire like shit of EA has just like hit the fan and like for, here's a prime example in destiny you have an enemy called knights and they have shields and when the knight shield is blocked they set up a fucking wall and a defense and maneuverability and they know when you're outnumbered or when your shields are down they'll send they'll they'll come charging in or they'll try to kill you in anthem no you just stand there, and they don't move behind cover. They don't try to flank you. They don't try to... They just send shit at you. Like, it's a piece of trash game, and people need to, like, understand how bad Anthem is. Like, it is bad. It is a bad game that that should not be played. Like, it, like it shouldn't... People shouldn't stand for it. Like I said, the game... 
it's it's fun in the aspect that the maneuverability, the combat, the the world is beautiful. But that is just a facade of how mundane and boring the game is. Like de- at least in Destiny, you have smart AI that try to flank you or try to like you just have smarter AI and design decisions and Destiny and 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 Monster Hunter and and um, um, Division, like you have these smarter systems and it's just like Bioware. Bioware, well, I can't even say the damn name. Bioware try to infuse their shitty story into like like the city's lifeless, right? Like, you go inside this city, and it's worse than Mass Effect Andromeda. Like, the hubs are, like... Like, think about Bioware, right? We got... We got... We got Bioware... Bioware... I'm so upset about this. But we got one of... Three of the most beautiful games that you'll ever play in your life. Mass Effect series are wonderful, right? You We got that... I can even say that Mass Effect rivals Star Wars... That's that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. I can even say that Mass Effect rivals Star Wars at how beautiful and expansive that galaxy is versus Star Wars. And then you then they put out Anthem and then they put out you know fucking Mass Effect Andromeda and then they put out Dragon Dragon Age In- Inquisition and it was just like they the quality just went down, man. I'm going to play Anthem and I'm going to enjoy it with the sounds. <laughs> Uh, with the sounds uh, like the guy in, in this game. Hey, I hear you, though. Let it out. Some of these developers just want to check. Well, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I We're going to get back to our game. But it, th- that's my stance on it. And, and I understand that people are going to play Anthem. Have fun with it, you know. Maybe I'll visit the game in a year or two when they, like, see, that's the thing. Like, that's the, that's the main point of this thing. <laughs> Look at Monster Hunter. It has not had any paid DLC, and it has delivered a fantastic fucking game for a year and a half that is beautiful, that's kept you engaged, that kept you going, that's released a wealth of content. Monster Hunter is the forefront and the definitive edition of a game of life's a service that has kept fans like enduring and, and just beautiful, right? And then you have Destiny, and you have Division, and... And then you like you have these games that are incomplete. Anthem should never have came out this year with how incomplete it is. And like the microtransactions and stuff. The only microtransactions that are in Monster Hunter is cosmetic makeup. And, and it's not even a lot. Like there's there's nothing, right? Like like that's a life as a service game, right? That's that's I hope that more people would learn from from Monster Hunter, because it's such a great game. And it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and, and I'm not even a fanboy. Like, I didn't play Monster Hunter before Monster Hunter World. I, I played, like, Ultimate on the DS, and that was about it. Um, but it's just, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just tired of games coming out incomplete, man. Uh, they already said no microtransactions at Anthem. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> That's it's EA dude. It's at there's no way that there's not gonna be any microtransactions in Anthem. I I that I, I there's no way. There's no way. There just isn't. But anyways. Enough about that. I'm not gonna get upset. We're gonna enjoy this. Alright, I'll add I might take a quick nap. Okay, brother. Like, I, th- there's no, yeah, there, there's definitely going to be. But anyways, we're going to stop talking about Anthem. I just hope that just people just wake up, like, and not, like, just just games are just becoming shittier, you know? Shit, are those real? Those are android birds, huh? Oh, that is, that is freaky, dude. <laughs> uh, that, is, that is just freaky. <laughs> that was that was weird for me. That was just weird. He was just like, 
Just grab him. Oh. Let's see if we can go upstairs. Let's go explore this place. But like I said, man, yeah, Anthem, like, there's some fun, va there's some, there's some fun value there. It's just not, it's not for me. This guy's definitely a collector. Uh, rich, beautiful house, giant ass fucking giraffe inside the house. You know your house too damn big when you can fit a life size replica of a goddamn giraffe in it. House is damn huge. Uh, what grinds DK gear segment? Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn it into a little ram fest. And I got frustrated there. It's just that it's just, and it's nothing against anybody. It's just that I hate when when developers just blatantly. Um, just blatantly cheat the customer, you know. Like even with Call of Duty, like I'm kind of, I'm upset about Call of Duty too. Uh, oh shit! I didn't realize he was in the bed. Good morning, Carl. Uh, Rip. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Hmm, this is such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep... Uh, this Android got lucky. Okay. DK, I love your honesty. Well, Most YouTubers just say all games are really good just to sell copies and receive a cut. It's all good. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I played the beta and enjoyed it, so I decided to get it. Is this your first time playing? Yes, this is my first time playing. Yes. All, all I'm saying is you'll, 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 come to, you'll come to see what I mean. What are we taking this man? You gonna go use it? You gonna take a shit? You'll come to see what I mean, Luminous. You know what I'm saying? You come to see what I mean, dude. Luminous, if you played Monster Hunter or if you played uh if you played Monster Hunter or if you played Destiny, you'll you'll understand soon enough what I mean. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening. Oh, we don't. Nobody's arguing, man. Mm -hmm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Oh shit! Oh, some Anything of these are your trolls, you? man. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother.
Yeah, we don't need that here, brother. Go ahead and you take your you take Marcus, you take yourself I'm somewhere waiting. else, Jim, and get out of here, Sorry, brother. Carl. I'm coming. Come back after you learn some respect, man. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Are we? Damn, we're taking this dude at the table over here. Take you all the way over here to the table. It's a pretty sweet house. What happened? Oh, the dude came in here. He he said some stuff and night body raced it. So then nobody else uh, then nobody else see it. But we're we're not gonna tolerate that kind of uh, speech around here. So uh, he can take that to somebody else's stream. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Plenty to do. Oh, great. Now he's coming in with other uh, accounts. Do you see this shit, man? Um, Mesh, because uh, I don't have any. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. And good afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and make you a moderator, too. Uh, the troll is going to start coming in. So can you uh, go ahead and... Uh, can you go ahead and uh, erase uh, anything that comes in here? Yeah, the Division Two. No, I didn't really. I didn't really like the Division Two beta either, man. Like, it was some stuff about that game too, and I'll I'll talk about that on a later note. But um, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not too keen no, on the Division Two. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed. Stupidity. I'm not too keen on it, but no, I understand what 5, you mean. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. What are you reading? Oh, Keats is odes. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? Well, there's a lot of sadness in his poems. Mm. Keats was in love. There's nothing like love to make a man feel miserable. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. <clears throat> You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. I wonder how much stuff I missed before going up to get him out. I didn't realize that he was in the bed. He was in the bed. I'm glad you liked the videos, man.
Let's see where we uh, left off. Uh, what games I'm excited for? Sheet. I want to play the. Uh, I, I think I, I got. I got excited for that uh, remake of uh, uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, I think it was Link's Awakening too. I got excited for that. Um, that I don't know, man. Like, there's not like the games that I was excited for already came out. You know, Kingdom Hearts, Red Dead. I'm just waiting now. I'm not. I try not to like. I don't know. I try not to get excited for games anymore, just because they just haven't been. You know, like a lot of games just haven't been good. You know. Uh. So. And in any games that I wanted to play already came out. Um. But yeah, the the new uh, update for Monster Hunter coming out. Uh. In the fall, supposed to be good. So I'll be excited for that too. Oh, Gone Story? Yeah, yeah, that uh, Days Gone or whatever it was called, Days Gone. Was it already spoiled by the event? I haven't even read anything about it, so The Last of Us 2, I'm um, excited for that. Damn, that was quick. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I? It is a good game. What? Anything you want. Yeah, Apex Legends like is really cool. Like I'm excited. Like I'm, you know, I'm excited to play that more. Like I, I can't believe that came out of left field. You know, looks good. It's fun to play. It's, it's exciting. It's really cool. Find a subject. Look around. Statue. Paint, paint a desk. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Yeah, Call of Duty definitely needs the uh, ping your system. Close your eyes. God Eater 3? Trust me. I've heard of that. That's, off of, that's based off of anime, isn't it? Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Androids, humanity, identity.
job. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Oh, shit, here we go. The whiny kid you know, that wants something. Oh, yeah, that one, that, uh, Sekiro. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. The one that's like Dark Souls, the uh, creator, uh, firm software. Just gave you. Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Mm. You never loved me. I've never heard of uh, Ghost. I haven't looked at anything that's new that's been coming out. Like, i just been kind of, like, just waiting. Uh, just to, like, just not spoil. I just don't like to spoil anything. 54% uh, complete. Oh, look at all that activities I missed. Damn it. Like, I just, I, I kind of, like... My whole perspective on games now is just like, like I'll watch a trailer for something, but then it just stops there. Like, cause I, I like I'm tired of like getting spoiled with so many like, just so many different like previews and stuff of games. Like I just kind of just wait for them to come out and then start to experience them, cause it's just it, they're everywhere, you know. Like all of the story is everywhere. Like I haven't watched the gameplay of. Uh, of any of those games you mentioned. Peeps on drugs, hurtful things. Might switch, uh, might get a switch for Link's Awakening. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm definitely I'm excited about that. Like, just to go back and see how they did everything. See if it plays exactly the same. I mean, I know it won't play exactly the same, but, you know, like, just to find all those little hidden gems and how they randomized, it, like, some of the dungeons and stuff and all the Shit. hidden areas. trailers no gameplay I know one game that was a big disappointment for me was uh was crackdown anybody in there it's, no it's just a single thing did I miss this guy completely or what
Where the hell is he? Oh, is this him? Say scan. Terry Crews in it. You got the game pass. Yeah, yeah, it just didn't, uh, yeah, I have the, uh, I have the game pass too, like, I paid, I had a, it was, uh, get two months for two dollars, and, uh, I started it, but it just wasn't, it wasn't any good, uh, where's this guy at? Oh, scam faces, oh, okay. Scan your face. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I yeah, looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably super trash. Terry Crews in it, super trash. <laughs> Assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids. But I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. I think we can go now. You prick! I'm <laughs> you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. <laughs> I'm program assholes these days. Wait 
right here. Won't be long. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking man. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I mean, he told me to wait here, but I need to exit, you know? I want to see if anything plays out in the story, if he just tells me to wait here. How long I should wait here? Uh, Mash, hold it down. I'll be right back. Uh, my only gripe with sick. Uh, yeah. See, I haven't watched any of the gameplay, brother, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and get out of the car. Typical DPD didn't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Part of stay in the car, didn't you understand? <laughs> Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around Hank from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. So God, this game is beautiful, man. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the window. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Oh, shit. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. in. God. Damn. Hold on, just say listen. Hold everybody out in the middle of the night. Listen to briefing until morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his Andrew? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Rope and blood. I am alive. Deo. Alright, we got this drug. Got this crack rock, red ice. What the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. written in the victim's blood I would say so we're taking samples for analysis
Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Signs of a struggle. Oh, victim impact. Aggravated assault, reconstruct. Boom, let's go. Deviant took a knife. So he got he got drugs. He 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 fucking got high, I'm guessing. He got high, freaked the hell out, went went and thought the android was probably an intruder and fucking went crazy on him. Android had no choice but to defend itself. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Android is probably somewhere close by. Uh, scared. Oh. Android sex. Officially better. Sorry, ladies. Plastic can't be beaten. <laughs> Andrews don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Jesus. <laughs> Is your android spying on you? <sighs> Which it's, it's so it's so ironic. It's so it's weird because you know you have the Android phone and, and like our phones are so woven into our lives like Like a foam is almost an extension of your arm, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, excuse me. This is blood. Briefing conclude. I don't want to do that. Let's go look somewhere else. Oh, what is this? Sense of writing. I mean, 
that took a lot of blood to write that. Oh shit, he wrote the markings, the markings. Twenty-eight staff rooms nineteen days ago. That's the red eyes. Stab oh shit, he stabbed him walking in. Yeah, yeah. To the kitchen. Stab him again, stab him, stab him, stab, him. stab, 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 stab. stab, stab. look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. It all started in the bathroom. <laughs> the android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The bedroom. The garden. Liver room. The garden. I said the liver room! The story makes no sense. I said the liver room! The <laughs> I said the liver room! The living room. <laughs> it just defaulted to the garden. <laughs> I didn't press circle in time. get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. To the sex club. was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Ethereum. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct.
search for blue blood traces. Was it in here? Because I didn't even see it. Has it been in here the whole time? Android's in the damn attic, man. Damn, you moving slow. Yeah, probably. Of course this one's easy. <sighs> I like to take my time, man. What the hell? Did I not look up? Chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. I wonder if the Andrew's going to attack him at all. is being creepy. Yep. <coughs> like, Connor as the android is just like, you know, what the fuck is going on? This isn't creepy, but I'm like, oh shit. Playing it, you know, with emotions is like this damn thing about to jump out. Oh shit. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Damn. Oh, I missed something? Damn it. I missed the whole entire...
What up, Blimey? How you doing, man? He didn't want his little girl to get his crack. Why would he just leave it out? Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't Dude. much in the kitchen. I did what I could. my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. I never tired. You're sad. Hey, thank you for the five bits, it's brothers. Fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? Oh god, here we go. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy knows. It's all your fucking fault. Oh, Jesus, man. Here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Yes! I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. <laughs> what are you doing in a situation like this, man? This is crazy. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a move. We're gonna move. You know he's about to go fucking nuts if I move. How far do you think it's gonna go, though? Trash bag him. Kill him now. I oh, know, right? Jesus. Let's see if he moves. Like, if I move. Oh, shit. Don't move. By the break. Protect Alice.
do something now. Reason with uh, protect Dallas. Oh. It, it didn't let me. Daddy's very mad. Oh wow, Rip. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. Button's not working. Oh, dude, this dude. No, we not about to watch this, man. I gotta go get the gun. Yeah, get your ass back. What the fuck are you doing? What do you think what the fuck I'm doing? Down the gun. Hitting a little the damn girl. Here. Crazy That's ass. An order. No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> What the fuck? I gotta move the controller? Why couldn't it just be a quick time fucking event? Oh my god. I'm about to get my ass beat. I gotta shake it now? I gotta shake the controller now? Come on, man. Oh my god, rip. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Here it goes. Once we open up this door, it all changes. Now it changed the moment we pick up the gun. Oh shit. Very, yeah, it's super interactive, dude. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Holy shit, dude. It's super interactive. Damn. Car shot Todd. How many different ways this could have went? Holy shit. Forty percent only shot Todd. Oh man, look at this.
Damn. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, that was bad for me to take that. <laughs> it's like clue with robots, right? That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> All right, let's let's pour the controller. Come on, let's pour it. Let's do it. It's not letting me do it. I'm trying. I'm tilting the control. There it goes. <laughs> Why the need for this? Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, shit. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I don't think that's safe. We go without you. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Go. Leo! <clears throat> what are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Oh, stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Damn, man. Do I do it? The oh, he said, "Don't defend myself." Ah. Uh. Here we go. Here we go. I don't get a choice in it though. I have to defend myself. The game is making me, you know. Don't do it, but I'm doing it anyways. Boom. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Uh, uh, uh. Carl, no. Carl, 
fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Oh, wow. 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 This mother... Damn. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? <sighs> How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> have to lose. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Oh, I killed Leo, too? Yeah. What the fuck is it doing now? there's anything else in the room I can possibly do you know just go around and and look all right we're gonna sit down let's see what we can find on them dry blood
housekeeper model. Ugh. Carlos. 2039. 20, Damn, he got cigarette marks. So this dude used to torture him. Pretty much torture him. Damn. him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Damn. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! I'm not getting it low enough. I'm fuck it up. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed warn. I meant to press triangle. I just... Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave. I knew you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it. tortured me every day. I 
I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. I wanted him. I wanted to get it low as I could, though. I know I need to get it high, but so I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better, so I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Yeah. The sculpture. In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Damn. Whew. This game, boy, DKT, will you uh, eat a bean? No, I'm not going to eat a bean. You know the conditions of eating a bean. Um, give him old Slippy Pro, baby. You need to get it higher. <laughs> you let Leo live. You let... Uh, uh, you fought Leo. You fought him. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't want to kill him. You know. But the sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Damn. This is crazy, man. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Damn. I'm done. Damn. <laughs> that's that's crazy, man. Destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Watch out! Oh, shit! 
Holy shit! Oh, damn! Dude. Eat a bean. See, that's that's crazy. Oh my god, hold on now. Oh man. Give me a moment, just gotta clean my glasses. Man, that's that's nuts, man. That's that is crazy. One moment. I just gotta get my spray for my glasses. Give me a moment. I'm like, I'm like, damn, man, how, all right, look, all right, normally I wouldn't do this, but we gonna, we gonna turn the camera on, we're just gonna play for a little bit, all right, I got my cover here, I'm cold, it's cold here, we gonna play, I got my Red Bull cans in the background, we gonna let this play out, and I'm just gonna play it here, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna be on camera, y'all can see the full reaction, because this is one of those games where, you in the moment, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you got. I'm not gonna eat a bean. I'm not gonna eat a bean. I'm not gonna eat a bean. No, no, no. I'm not gonna eat a bean. All right, I'll eat a bean for you, JJ. I'll eat a bean for you, cause you're my gamer son. But the dono, but you don't. He donated. Yeah, but he donated. He donated three dollars. It's five bucks for a bean. It's five bucks because I love him. I'll eat a bean for him. All right. Five. That's that. That's that's not American. It's not American. It, you know what I'm saying you gotta you gotta you gotta. It's gotta be American. Not not New Zealand. I don't know what that is. That don't that don't work here. No. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, man. All right. I'll eat a bean for you, brother. I'll eat a bean for you. We're going to do a bean. We'll do a bean for JJ. Um, let me just sign in. I got to sign in to get the will going. Give me a moment. Why y'all making me bean? Why y'all make me eat beans, though? Come on, like, ain't y'all enjoying the story? Aren't you enjoying the story? Huh? The story's good, right? You're making me eat these beans. Um... Where's it at? 
Where's the well at? It doesn't show. Hold on. It doesn't show the wheel for me to spin it. Like I can't. Hey, what up, Knight? How you doing, man? Please be booger. I don't want it to be booger. Why you gotta be like that? I don't need to be booger. The, the what the hell? Widgets. All right, here go the widgets. Uh, widgets new location. It has a new location. Hold on, like they changed the website. They changed the website. Here we go. Spin the wheel. All right, here it goes. They changed the damn website on me. All right, here we go. Okay, what we got? Buttered fucking popcorn. Like I swear to God, like that's like. That's like the the one that always spin. All right, let's do this again. Spoiled milk, great. <sighs> Fucking spoiled milk. All right. All right, we got the beans in hand, and there's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of coconut. Here we go. We got spoiled milk or coconut. Spoiled milk or coconut. Any, mini, mighty, mo. Please don't let it be spoiled milk. But coconut will be a delight. Here we go. Oh! <coughs> oh my god, it tastes just like fucking rotten 2% milk. That is fucking gross, dude. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it stinks so bad. <coughs> oh, oh, God, that fucking stinks. dude that is fucking nasty oh spoiled milk is gr oh my god that is by far that is worse than the dead fish that is worse than a bit dead fish check the photo in discord oh <laughs> uh, i now know how that tastes it is yeah, dude that is nasty does a body good. <laughs> that's a good one does a body good does a body good, yeah, right. Check the photo. Oh man, look at that arm. Boy, how many how many bones have you broken in the last year and a half? Holy shit, dude. How many bones have you broken, dude? Oh. <clears throat> So I tend to like lean forward a lot like when I'm in my game like when I'm playing because like my screen is right here right like my whole my whole screen is right here thank you <laughs> so if you like if you like look you're gonna see all my stuff like here's my TV right there's my TV so like when I'm looking forward when I'm looking forward you see my screen completely and so I'm looking this way I'm looking this way. So, like, that's why it's kind of hard to, like, read your guys' comment. Thank you for the $3. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Into the line. <laughs> gonna have to leave. But, uh, yeah. So, when, I, when I'm playing and stuff, like, it's hard for me to... 
it's hard for me to uh to look at sorry it's something in my eye it's hard for me to go back and forth so I gotta literally turn my head this way look at the comments this way and then I get that uh what do you call that that forehead syndrome when you go to lean in that hunch back when I'm focused you know what I'm saying <clears throat> Stay here or shelter. Um, Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. That's horrible, man. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be off now. Have an exhilarating experience. Uh, I would dono one dollar per kill. Uh, get his first BO game of quads. Uh, if it's before I go to bed. Uh, Kara has some nice boobies. That's an Android, man. That is a video game. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I like them a little bit bigger, though. They gotta be a little bit like them a little bit bigger. I like the like the small little C cup, but I like them a little bit bigger. It's gonna be okay. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Like me some triple K's, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> We've got to hurry. All right, we got to find us a shelter. Damn, you just got. Yeah, Android's just standing here underneath the. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? <coughs> you just don't respond. I grab her hand. Open. Can't stay. Mega washer. Won't be open till morning. Can't sleep here, ask for help. <clears throat> Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Uncomfortable, but safe, how to get in. Not discreet, we'll need money. Uh, he parked laundry. Man, it was open, right? Yeah, the lot. I think yeah, the laundry mat's over. It said 24 hours, but he, what they gonna do? Just stay, you know? She gonna take no kid to no laundry mat. <coughs> we could ask for help, but I wonder what. I don't know. Like, I feel like if we ask for help. Like she's gonna be, she's gonna be in trouble, you know. Like, oh, is it closing? What? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. 
I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What the hell was that? <clears throat> Okay, so we need to check. We need to check all these places. Okay, we'll check all these places then. We'll check them. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and check. Look, them. the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Dallas as a diversion. <clears throat> Things to the cabinet. <clears throat> you all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, can Have you take out the now? camera? Oh, can button. you guys see something? How could you do that? I trusted you. Yeah, I could take it out if it's if it's showing up too much. 
Oh no, you meant the cameras in the damn store, huh? Oh, uh, rip. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Ellis. I'll never do it again. warm in here. You'll fill up no time. But damn it. Uh, you're a criminal. The little girl was about to pop on you. You know that was bad. Uh, you know, yeah, it was probably bad. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking of little girl survival. The girl can't stay out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? She can't sleep out in the car because her clothes are wet. Her clothes are wet, and um, you know she can catch ammonia and die. So I'd rather, you know, we're gonna try to survive together. I'd rather have her be in, in the best condi condition as possible. Bring her ass over here and stand in front of a dryer or something. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the girl got to get warm. You know? Yeah, see, now I can get her some dry clothes. You see what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? I'm thinking as, uh, as a father. You know? I'm thinking as a, a caretaker. You know, I got to gotta keep get my baby warm. You know? What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I would have woke up. There ain't no fucking way that I I would I would have slept through that. Alice gonna leave you? Probably.
Can I see your driver's license? We're, we we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Alice gonna yeah, probably. Hey, we got we got a room for tonight though. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm today. Oh shit, she still got the gun. Oh damn. Oh man, I didn't realize like I didn't know she like I didn't realize she still had the gun. Like I saw the option at the store, but I was like, damn, shit, ain't no way she still got the gun. That's why I didn't go with the robbery. Here, give me your coat. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. he ever loved me? Oh, man. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. No, oh, man. It's a tough decision to make. Um, Alice, we don't know what's going to happen, and I don't. Will we be together forever? Forever.
to feel what humanity feels. In that moment, Kara felt humanity for the first time. You should sleep now. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Damn, man. She like Andrew, you know, but I guess the simulation of doing it. Damn, there's so many different outcomes of this story inside the supermarket. We could have stole, we could have killed someone, finding shelter. Twenty-seven percent. Twenty-seven percent. She felt alive like Johnny Five. You know it. You know it. Twenty-seven <laughs> percent. Oh man. Oh what? Damn, this game is so beautiful, man. I can only imagine playing this in full HDR. Probably be really good. Uh, what up, Legend? How you doing, man? Thank you for calling iCuddle service. <laughs> Thank you. 
Adam. Damn, it's ha it has a heart. Look at that. They put a heart system in it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. Look at that. They, they don't even decommission them for parts. Like, like you know, like, they just... Uh, Just here, just dying. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Damn. All the hands are gonna start touching him. That's oh wow. That is just horrible. That is so wrong. Where are you going? Oh shit. This is fucking... The way that they, oh my god, the sound effects in this game is just amazing. Oh my god.
This is just like they don't even like that. They don't even they don't even they don't even try to decommission, you know, like oh, I didn't want to climb up. Damn, rip. Oh, it's the she's singing the song from the Kira unit. That's a nice little Easter egg, a nice little reference to the tech demo they showed off a long time ago. It sucks that they don't even try to decommission them at all, you know? They don't try to... Like applying his junkyard, I know. You know, it's funny. Me and my wife was talking the other day about um, she uh, she she found her old uh, computer, and it was the first like I got her um, I got her this purple laptop. It was an HP purple laptop, and I got it for when she was working as a. Um, uh, a child care provider at uh, these uh, casinos. It was called Kid Zone. I think that's what it was called. But everything was purple. And, like, my wife hates the color purple. And, like, everything in her life was, like, just surrounded by purple. And so I got the laptop as a gag gift. And I got her a purple laptop being funny. And yesterday uh, we found it and we, we, we turned it on and and she was like she was sad because she had got a new laptop and then uh all these memories started coming back to her and she was like it was her first laptop right it was her first like electronic that was truly hers and i'm gonna fix it up and give it to my daughter so she could play roblox on it but i was like at that moment it's funny how when um humans become attached to something that has no life and it's almost like I feel like it's almost like in the things that are around us we put value and put souls into objects that are around us and they and those objects are what make us up as human beings like because we put value inside things and it's funny like looking at all of this and then watching how her reaction was to her laptop I don't know why it brought that memory to me but it just uh, man it sucks it sucks but you know it, it is the, it's the future you know like that's why you use g-cycle if you want to properly get rid of any kind of electronics go by your local best buy and use g-cycle you can get rid of all of them or so they say that's why I normally take mine But if you ever wanted to know where to go to get rid of electronics instead of just throwing them out and causing waste for the environment, you can go to Best Buy and figure out where your local uh, electronic recycle uh, uh, stations are. And a lot of times, um, electronics can be salvageable, right? And the parts can go to fixing other ones. And so it's always good to know where you can actually get rid of proper um, electronics. 
even appliances and stuff. People don't realize it, but I see so many like people just throw refrigerators and shit inside the dumpsters, and then like you can actually take those somewhere and they'll get rid of them for you. People are more than welcome to grab them, you know. like escaping into freedom, taking back what's mine that I didn't know I had before. Uh, there's a company that take them and recycle them uh, and, the, uh, and the gold in them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be surprised how many rare materials are make up inside our electronics that we don't know about and where they come from. Very surprised. Why is it not? What? What is it? I don't understand. It's not letting me rip it off. thing that's a that's a prow powerful powerful scene right there my name is Marcus hey welcome to the orb nation thank you new tech I appreciate you being here thank you for the follow thank you for the sub find Amanda Four o'clock. Like this, a this a LED TV. So like, or I mean, an OLED LED TV. So like, I want to experience all of it. I want to get that immersion factor. But the only the reason why I don't like uh, like the PlayStation, I don't want to stream for me. I can't see the comments anymore. Like, 
I don't know what happened with the PlayStation comments, and I don't know if it's just me or if it's happening to anybody else. Anybody else that's out there that let me know, if you stream directly from PlayStation, uh, the last time I tried to stream through there, there was no comments showing up on the side of it. I was, you know, it was just like, what the hell? What's going on with the comments? Ooh, excuse me. Find Amanda. Who is Amanda? There she goes. What's up, Amanda? Maybe. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. Oh, give me a moment. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Alright, sorry about that. I had to talk to my, uh, my wife. Oh, uh, only got till 8 o'clock, DK. Okay, buddy. Alright. <clears throat> Let me finish. I'll finish this segment here. Hold on. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. <laughs> He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. Damn. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Become Detroit, become Connor. I Hurry, get it now. Connor. There's little time. Connor, Connor must, there must be a possibility for Connor to die in every single scene. Like, there's got to be that possibility. Uh, there's, yeah, the Oracle take us to Morpheus. There's got to be, Connor must, be, he must be able to die in every single scene. And I, and I just, I, I just killed him. All right. How do you, like, Up uh, any any unsaved progress. All right, it's already been saved. So, all right. So we, we got we got so much for so much for saved so so far. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the stream. <laughs> we're gonna end the stream on this one, uh, guys. We'll be streaming more of this tomorrow. I hope that you all come out. I want to thank you all for coming out and supporting this type of content on the channel. I know we normally stream battle royales. Um, and mainly that right now, but I appreciate you guys taking coming out and watching this content. We'll come back with it tomorrow. If you enjoy, hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of this or any other type of game, be for sure to leave a comment on the videos and and um, you know let me know how you feel uh, about me playing these kind of games or, or questions at all. Um, I like the game too. It's really it's really fun. It's really good. It's very refreshing to play. Uh, one of these games uh, after playing so much of Battle Royales just takes your mind off of it, a lot of things. Um, but as always, I leave you with these words. Be safe. Be mindful of your actions.
keep your eyes on your prize and your purpose alive. This is DKT signing out. We'll catch you on the flip side. We'll be back with more Call of Duty in 10 minutes. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're going to get on blackout.